I really wanted to get on this topic because um, I got this friend that went through some domestic violence. And I feel like we don't really talk about this as much because some people, like, you know, they be going through domestic violence in relationships and some, ooh, sometimes they don't make it out. Yes. So that, that'd be the scary part, too. I feel like they are trying to normalize toxic relationships. And that's the thing. Once you stress me out, Matt, listen. It's like I'm going to handle you from afar. That's that's just how I am. But some people just be like, oh, well, it was just one time. People is... I feel like the honeymoon phase is... Is real, and you will never know how a person act until that person feels comfortable around you to act up. You know, um, I'm watching Love After Lockup. One of one of the dudes, as soon as he put the ring on Shorty's finger, he started changing. Like, <laughs> soon as he got married to the girl, like, started changing. And that's what a lot of people do out here is. Like, okay, it's a gotcha game. Yeah. Like I got you, like <laughs> you know, like you're not getting out of this that easy, you know, like. Yeah, I want to talk about domestic violence. My bad, and I want to talk about what you just talked about too, because the whole making out and that it's not being talked about is really not like I had a best friend who went through some shit. Like her boyfriend tried to get her off this world. Okay, he's no longer here. Like physically, you feel me? But it's like he went as far as you being with somebody for so long and you mad because you know you keep disrespecting them and crossing your boundaries. Like at some point, what makes you think, like, oh, well, you're not gonna let me disrespect you, I'm just gonna kill you? When do you stop and think, like, <laughs> when do you stop and think, like, I'm wrong, I'm tripping, you just keep going and going and going? For what though? Like, I don't, I don't be knowing it gotta be people be possessed or something because. It's like if somebody make me that mad, I'm going to leave you alone. Like I'm yeah. like, I can't do this with you. Like I don't even want be wanting to argue with people. I be wanting just to leave people alone. Like I right, whatever, I don't care. Like but to kill somebody, like to get somebody off this earth, yeah. that's crazy. Like, like that's crazy. Cause me, I like my life. <laughs> I like my life outside of jail. <laughs> like it's like you're not so, thinking about nothing. Like, you're not thinking about the weed. You're not thinking about your. You're not thinking about your hair. You're not thinking about the food. You're not thinking about the my 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 thing is. Nobody out here, there's no woman out here that's going to get me out of my character to sit here and be like, yo, it's either you or me. Like, nah, like. I had somebody say that shit to me. <laughs> I had somebody say that shit to me where and I was a little dumbass because I'm thinking like, oh, yeah, we've been together. So he went and get married. I'm going to get engaged. You know what I'm saying? Like, he got the ring, everything. Let me pick it out. And it was just hell. Like that nigga, once I decided to like really leave him alone, he and I would have answered the phone and shit. He started popping up in my house, calling my dad, you know, all kind of weird shit. My dad's older, he's disabled, so he's gonna entertain the conversation because he's not talking to nobody on a day to day basis, you know. Mm -hmm. And then you know they mind is slowly slipping, so. Yeah. Even though I'm telling yeah, him it's things, like company for him, so he's like, oh, so somebody to talk to. Yeah, and even though I'm telling him these things, like, hey, you can't. Call, you can't talk to him, like, you know, we're not together no more. Like, it's not, he be like, oh, you can't tell me who to talk to, but he don't understand, like, how serious it is. This nigga pulled up to the house one time and was like, it's, it's either going to be me or you. It's going to be me or you. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, he's like, you know what I'm talking about. He's like, one way or the other, one of us got to go. I'm like, one of us ain't got to go no fucking way, nigga. Oh, nigga. You yeah, can get the fuck though. He bugged the fuck out. Uh uh. What the, what the fuck? Yeah. Nah, those are the type of men that can't get another girl. Are they, are they afraid that they can't get another girl? Maybe going out with the. Well, I mean, I feel like I could say my story because I've been in a domestic violence relationship and I was with him for like, what, two years? Um. Yeah, at first, you know, they show that they sweet, kind, innocent, and then bam, you see the crazy side, like, damn, motherfucker, where the fuck was this? You just played Houdini on me, like, nah. 
But it really messes up with your mental. I'm not going to lie. Being in a domestic violence relationship, that fucks up your head. And they don't see that at all. I got a little sister. I got little cousins. I would never. <clears throat> and that's the crazy part because he had a daughter. So it's just like if your daughter did something, like if your daughter was in a situation like that, how the fuck would you feel? But you do it to me. So it's just like you being a real hypocrite. Like if you ever pull a gun out on a female, you give us you're gonna kill her or do something, you're a bitch. Yeah. And you're gay. Yeah, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> like I always I always every time I hear a guy do something he does, I be like, Oh, you're gay as fuck. Like you take dick. Like That's you great. take mad <laughs> dick. I know you do. Cause it's no way you comfortable and you you comfortable just saying some shit like that to a female. Yeah, because at the end of the day, and, and people will look at you like you crazy. Got feelings for like, like oh no, he gotta be insane. Like I, I realize, like if you tell a woman you love her and stuff like that, and like you protect her and stuff like that, you gotta you gotta um live up to the what you say and all that. Men men always gotta have a code. They gotta have honor. They gotta have integrity. Yeah, you know they gotta have a big ego and all that. But you know. But it, a man should always have these these codes and these morals um, to to survive. And like because when they don't do that, all they do is like bring um, men like good men down. You feel me? Because now when she be the good man, she always gonna remember um, the man that did something to her. I got a coworker, and like um, she like she don't she rather mess with women because the last man she dealt with was abusive. He stalked her and and stuff like that. I. I totally believe that these women is out here looking for the wrong men, though, because, the okay, so there's a lot of men out here that has the wrong impression that, you know, girls like aggressive dudes, and a lot of dudes feel like being aggressive is being controlling, that's that's not it, and you know, like, controlling, abusive, it's, it, it's crazy to me, but that's the type of woman that... They be like, oh, he crazy. I like him. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like, listen. All right. You good. I'm good. <laughs> like, I just like for a person to show me that they can be protective. Yeah. Like, they can protect me, but not do that shit towards me. Like, that's weird. Yeah. You're supposed to be like that to people who's acting weird with me, you know? Nah. it's um, Because, like, a guy, a guy will, like... Will will act weird, like will act weird. Um, I, got for that. I was about to say, I lost my train of thought. I was thinking about something else. A guy will act weird. A, a guy will act weird. Um, especially when he think a girl is cheating, mm -hmm. right? So like, and like, but if he keep accusing that girl of cheating and stuff like that, she's gonna cheat. Yeah. You feel me? But I don't feel like that's true. I feel like cause. And I don't want you to forget your point, mm -hmm. but I feel like since I've dealt with somebody who was like that, I just feel like when it gets to the point where I, I see somebody, I'm doing somebody, and you always accusing me of cheating, you're doing it. Like it's yeah. you that's doing it. It's not that, and it's not that it influences me to go do it. It just influences me to leave you the fuck alone. Exactly. You obviously. And, but doing in his that head, y'all still together. But you, like, nah, I'm done with you. Yeah, I'm done with you. I had, I had a conversation with one of my exes, and like, um. And I'm like, you cheated on me. She's like, we wasn't together. I'm like, in my head, we was together and all that. And it's, it's, that's why I said that, you feel me? And I realized I was wrong for even saying that. Yeah. Because of me, because, you know, for me, because in her head, we wasn't together, you feel me? And she probably either like hinted at it and all that, or I probably just didn't want to take it or accept it, you feel me? And like, or let, let it go, you feel me? So she's, she's technically right. Yeah. Turn that around. So my thing is, Amari said that basically she wants to be, she she wants to know that the guy is able to protect her, right? Yeah. But I also feel like don't put me in situations where you need to be protected. Yeah. You know, because there's a lot of, it's a lot of women out here that will go. That get niggas killed. That's a fact. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of it's a lot of niggas that die behind a bitch just oh I'm mad ah kill him mm, call him my nigga Bay, he hit me da, da, da. he come downstairs now look this nigga got shot cause of you because you want to sit here and flirt and think it's 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 innocent but 
people mindset, nah, you get some people an inch, they take a mile. So you can't sit here and give anybody like the the impression like, oh Dax, she like me, like, okay, cool, like And that's another thing, because I be feeling like I get that a lot, like and I don't I don't feel like I give impression to people where I'm just like overly flirty. Like I play a lot, I'm goofy, but distance, bitch. Like have some have some respect. And yesterday, some crazy shit happened when we was in class yesterday. Like, this dude, I guess he liked me, right? Mm-hmm. I do hair. So, when I get you my Instagram, you on my business page. Like, that's styles by badass. That's not even my name. My name is not even on there. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So, it's like, not even pictures. Just hair, 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 hair. That's it. Mm-hmm. I gave you my Instagram, and then we in class, and you want to swing on me. What you swing on me for? Oh, my goodness. Like, for no reason. For no reason. Swing on me. Like so like that's how you play like nigga we ain't playing like that yeah so i was i was upset i told my friends all about it like that you feel me i'm like nigga you lost your mind you feel me and my friends were on time and i'm just like you know a lot of things can happen to a lot of people because they put they self in situations yeah, yeah, yeah. and i was um i was texting somebody and they was asking me if i was okay and everything i'm like somebody just don't me but i'm good they called me like let me come boom i'm like it's not that deep yeah, relax yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not that deep nobody hit me nothing connected yeah. and if it did connect Niggas are here for, like with me to pr- help me protect myself. You feel me? So, I don't, I be feeling like people really be taking it to the extreme when they don't have to. Even though you have those options, you know you have those cards to play. Mm-hmm. Play them on the right things, on the right time. But don't ever just neglect those. Or you know, I don't know like you know what I'm trying to say. Take mm-hmm. advantage of those things because it's like you're gonna get somebody fucked up for real. And then um, a, a, um, probably a year ago, it was a lady. She was her daughter, and she was stealing out of like a family dollar and stuff like that, something like that. And um, so they stopped at the door. She said, "Run home and tell your father what's happening." So the father and the son comes back, and they end up on uh, I'm alive in the security guard um, and all that. So now the mother's in jail, the father's in jail, the brother's in jail. The little girl is on her own, foster care somewhere right now. Yeah. Yeah. And all over a woman stealing from a store. Like people gotta think about the causes of their actions. Like, like <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> it's cause and effect. We're taught that from young, and nobody think about the effects. It's crazy. Like now you can't raise your daughter. Your son is in jail. Like, come on, man. It's crazy out here in these streets. People don't be thinking further than the moment. And that's what you gotta master. When somebody's pissing you off, thinking about how many ways they can go. I be doing that. Like when that nigga swung on me, y'all, I'm thinking like I'm in class. I could smack the fuck out of this nigga. I could punch him. I could walk off. I could do a lot of things right now. But then then what now I'm out of a job, I'm out of a career, I'm out of school. Crazy. He's still in school, probably. You know, no, fuck that. And so I gotta focus on me before anything. I mean, I I, I still don't understand. Well, why would you do that? <laughs> yeah, he asked me. He did ask me. He was like, "Can you pass me my bag?" And I was like, "I be on some like dick catches sometimes." I'd be like, "No," but I still have it in my head and pass it to you. You feel me? So I, I was like, "No," and I passed it to him. And then I was like, I was walking. He just. <laughs> But it was like a hard wind. I felt a hard wind. I was like, in real time, did you just do that? <laughs> like, I ain't. niggas is raised different though. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know if it's the vaccine. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Yeah, that's crazy too. Like, you know, dudes out here is ready to fight and put their hands on women. I was never taught like that. Uh, that's, that's I know. Crazy. I know. A co- I got a coworker that said he would do that. You know. <laughs> Like he he proud of it, you know, yeah, you know he he you know other than that he a cool other than that he a cool dude. He proud to like dick. That's what I heard is heard. <laughs> I told you I be up in it like. Mm. It's crazy. Bombastic side eye, cause that's crazy. What you mean you proud to hit a female? I hate I niggas like, like that. Right, bitch made ass niggas like. It's crazy. Yeah, I seen that um podcast where they was. Doing this test when basically like they had the females call the guys that they was dealing with, having sex with, and basically telling them that they was pregnant. Mm. It was only one girl on that podcast out of all the girls that they 
performed and the guy was like, oh, okay, don't worry. He was like, so we just gonna, um, we gonna cancel this. We gonna uh, go to the doctor. We gonna book a trip. We gonna talk about everything over the trip. It was only one guy that was willing to like, let's do this. Anyway. Let's do this. First of all, if if a girl tell you she's pregnant and the guy is talking about let's take a trip. No, no, no. Listen, no, listen. Because, listen, she was like this. It was it went like this. She was like, hello. It was a whole little thing, you know? And then she finally told him, like, well, I'm pregnant. He was like, you, you pregnant? He was like, all right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to stop the payment on the, the thing. And then he was like, then you're going to move in with me. And you're going to move out that crib you in right now. You feel me? I'm going to just kick out my tenant. She's like, you're going to kick out your tenant? He's like, yeah, I'm going to kick out my tenant. She's like, no, don't do that. She's like, I'm just going to get an abortion. He was like, no, an abortion? No, 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 no. He was like, we're going to take a trip, okay? We're going to take a trip. And then we're going to talk about it. We gonna... That's how it went. I just didn't go into detail. But I'm saying that was the only guy who was like, excited and like willing to every other nigga was like it ain't mine so what you talking about you need abortion money the one nigga said my birthday coming up oh, no, <laughs> he said my birthday i said like, i need to drop them niggas for real like i need to stop right. fucking them niggas because that's what i'm saying if you having sex with nigga raw it's a chance that that could happen and he give you a response like that like we, leave him alone we used to go out to um, that's a risk every day yeah. we used to go out to a lot of underground um clubs right and like every single time around this time we was going, the, the girls would always say where the drug dealers is at. Like when they seen us, like you feel me? And like and I always I, I felt insulted, but like but I also didn't feel insulted because I knew how much money he made a year and I know how much money I made a year. So I'm like it's about insulting because you don't know what you were talking about. You feel me? So like maybe they Maybe they just wanted drugs. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bitches is stupid. They be feeling like, oh, I get a drug dealer. Yeah. He gonna cash out on me and be around with him. You know, First of all, bitch, you get a drug dealer. He don't want to be around you. Right. He's gonna fuck you and then he's gonna go on his bust his moves unless you got a car to move from point A to point B. Yeah, it's um women. It's, it's they. It's sad to say some women don't want the want a guy with a nine to five because. Like a drug dealer, he had no job. He hang out in the block anytime he want. He could go anywhere he want. He could do anything he want. He got no meetings. He got no appointments. It's it's his time. You feel me? So like, but a nine to five, this guy nine nine hours nine um nine hours out the day, you sitting somewhere in an office somewhere or doing something manual for a little bit of change, you know, while she home sitting there for nine hours by herself all day. So eventually, you know what she gonna do. You feel me? <laughs> so, 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 cousin, let me ask you a question though. Mm -hmm. If you was rich, right? Mm -hmm. You had a girl mm -hmm. that didn't want to work. Would you allow her to sit home? Mm -hmm. See, and and now as I'm rich, work is something totally different. She could sit home, but it's, you could do stuff at that house that that could make money. You feel me? And like she could, she you could do a cooking show. You feel me? Especially as I'm rich, I got a nice kitchen. I don't know. I I don't like. I don't like idle hands. Mm -hmm. So at yeah. the end no, of the I'm, day, I'm just, I'm just you asked me a question. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Question. But you no, know, I'm just I'm yeah, just saying. Yeah. Like, but you that's, said not this, what, this, that's not what I do though. Yeah. You know for me, you ask, ask my answer, yeah. that's my answer to your question though. My thing is like if I'm working, then you, you can't sit in the house all day, you know. And I was I was having a conversation with, with one of my Facebook friends, and it was a girl from uh, Nigeria that said. She posted something. She said, "If you can't take care of me when um, when I'm broke, then I don't need you." Peace. And <laughs> she like, you know, she she was with that energy. She she liked it, and I'm just like, well, "What's mm -hmm. stopping her from getting yeah. a job?" Yeah. See, so that's something totally different with my answer. See, I, like I said, I said she could make a cooking show or something like that. That wow. makes a lot of money. She could be on a food network or somewhere. You feel me? But yeah. my homegirl was like, oh, you know, like I'm traditional where, you know, like I want to stay home and take care of the house and the kids. The kids is in school. Like, what you mean? Like, what are you doing at home all day? Like, I don't keep a dirty house at the, you know, for it to always be cleaned up. So... What are you doing in the house all day? Yeah, see, <laughs> like, see, like, see, like, Ace something getting dropped on the floor. She's going to pick it up and put it back in its place. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I feel like if I was wealthy, wealthy, I wouldn't mind having a man who didn't work, but I don't want him to be broke. 
Like, I want him to have something to him. And I want him to be able to do things that he want to do and for me because he want to do it. Yeah. But, like, I wouldn't, I'm not going to, I don't want to be, I'm not one of the females to be like, oh, you got to have this, you got to have that. You got to have, like, just some ambition. Like, just But if he me. didn't work, where is he getting money from? It's different ways. It's, if you're not working for that's, somebody, that's, that's, that's it's different ways. My, my question is, that's the same thing I was saying. You could make money. You have to. We have to work right for. You have to work for somebody. I just don't want no bum who was like, "Oh, babe, I come in from work. He's sitting on the game. I get thirty dollars. I need to smoke. What the fuck? What you fuck you been doing all day? All the food and shit. You just sit on the couch gone. like really no bags of chips on the floor. Gone. Everything just just shit everywhere. On the stove. Like, it's a trail. When I walk in the house, it's a trail. Your drawers, your right. pants, your like, socks, your shoes. It's a trail leading. I know every room you went in. I know every room. I have it to a That's why she's saying I'm that. I'm telling you. I know every room. That's why she's saying that. I'm, I'm, I've got so pissed. I said, why the fuck is a trail every time I come in here? Like, it's a trail every time. Nah, I seen an Instagram post. Shorty was at work. She needed to get home. Dude wasn't picking up his phone. She said he bet not had no girl in this house. So she went home. He in there with his two homeboys. Oh my God. It's weed. They smoking weed. It's bags of chips everywhere. They playing the game. <laughs> she like, this what you do? This what you do while I'm at, at work? This you sitting here with your friends playing game? He's like, yo, y'all, she tripping. Y'all, look, we gonna move it to his house. Like, go ahead. I'm going to clean up this mess. I'm going to be over there in a minute. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. Like, I don't know, man. I can't be lazy. I got to be working. Boy, why you not like your nigga? Clean up the house. Like, your girl like, just like, came home, bro. Like, but then, but then they got him be like, oh, you like my bitch? But me, see, that's why, like, I don't be having a lot of company because... Not everybody's gonna take care of your house the way you take care of your house, you, you know. Like, um, oh boy, I don't know. I just um, hang, I just hang out with this dude, and right, I'm I'm um he was mad cool and all that, you know. I knew him for a couple of years, and um so I ran into him one day. So I'm like, alright, so he like, oh, you play the game? I said, no, I don't play the game, man. I said, but I'm like, I said, I play with you. He's like, alright, so he said, I'm bring my game over. So he started bringing his game over, right? So eventually, I realized like after the first time was cool, second time was alright. The third time, I ended up falling asleep. He, and I wake up, he's still. It's like two, three o'clock in the morning. He twisted, you know that. So now, now he like, he's like, right, I'm going to sleep in the living room, man. So he, 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 he like by my kitchen table sleep. <laughs> crazy. And shit like that. Just to wake up and go back yeah, and yeah. play so, the game yeah. in the morning. No, no, he, he left. He left. He left that morning. Like he didn't stay. You know that. You know he just eventually that for that's what the routine came. So eventually I just stopped. It's in my phone for him. Yeah. I'm like you're not gonna keep coming to my house. I won't play the game. You feel me? Yeah. I'll play with him a couple of times, but after that, you know, you gotta go home. But yeah, but he stayed there. It's like two, three o'clock in the morning, and then go sleep in the living room floor or some shit like that. I don't like that. I need you to go home. Like you can stay, you can chill for a bit, but at the end of the day, it's like you're taking me out of my normal routine. It's because it's like now I have to entertain you, you know. So you're taking me out of my normal routines. I need you to go home. <laughs> I need you to go home. Like you can come over, you can chill for you know a couple hours, but not all day, not all day, you know. Man, it's crazy. It's always somebody, man. It's always somebody. I, I had a friend that always, always like, always try to like swindle you out of some some kind of money. Like, like for example, he, he would go into like a Spanish restaurant, right, and be like, "I want um five dollars worth of food." They like, "Yo, the plate of food costs six seventy five, you know, seven dollars." They like. So so he be like so he would argue with them like yo I want you want five dollars like this that just give me five dollars put it in this one right here this and that like you know like uh, you know so like so so or he would do something like this he be like oh hey um order me such 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 and hand you five dollars and go to the store so one time he did it with me so I, so I he gave him the money he went to the store I stood there he came back I stayed in the same spot he came back said here I didn't get up there yet. <laughs> <laughs> Gave it back to him, you know. So like, I'm not, I'm not gonna play. I'm not, I'm not gonna play your game with you. <laughs> yeah, 
But he a good friend and all that. Call him my brother and all that. You know, but like, there's certain things I can't do with him. There's something I, I would not go to the store and buy food with him, you know, because you're not going to spend me to end up buying your food or giving you some portion of the money for your food. Mm-hmm. That shit annoying. Mm-hmm. I hate motherfucker call me and act like they, hey, what's up, what you doing? Oh, nothing. I'm just, uh, uh I'm just hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get $20? <laughs> like, I don't got it right now. What if I ain't had it right now? Really though, like what if I was struggling? Like hold on, how you asking me? Maybe the people who always ask and, and never do it back though. Like I don't have, if it's my friends, I know. Cause you know, you, we do it for each other. But if it's just somebody who just, who know you, which I ain't talking for real. Like, like come on now, how you just like, feel like you can just ask me?